that those three idiots are going to jump in my brother's face or in my face. All they do is come out here and talk about how tough they are and how they're going to take the belt. But we're out here week after week and we never see them. We never see them. I'll tell you one thing right now. We went to the commissioner. We demanded an appearance on the flight from the Razor. We're going to be on tonight. And it's not going to be any Matt Erickson show. It's not going to be any Mike Summers show. It's going to be a flight from the Reynolds brothers. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even seen Joe around here. I'm not even sure if he's here tonight. Oh, Stan, he probably rocked himself back to sleep trying to get out of bed this morning. Yeah. Hey, you know, tonight is the night. The fight from the Razor turns into rapping with the Reynolds tonight because Commissioner Kogut told the little man that he's got to bring the red, red, white, and blue record crew on the show. That's good. You see, Tavino and ourselves, we don't see eye to eye. That has a lot to do with the fact that he's about 4'11". But there's another thing. At one time, Tavino was in the camp of the red, white, and blue record crew. Seeing that little man look at success right in the face. And then he turned his head. And now he's staring failure right in the face. Well, little man, wise up. Hey, Father Time, it's the only other left of the body. It's all over. Hey, Snow White and the two dwarfs, listen to us. There's only three things you've got to worry about in life. The past, the present, and the future. Well, the past is over. We are the present, and all you got in the future, hospital beds, wheelchairs, and body beds, courtesy of the red, white, and blue wrestling crew. Ooh, there you have it, wrestling fans. Apparently a big block on the shoulders of those two on Chicago Championship Wrestling. We'll be right back with more wrestling action right after this word. Stay tuned for more of the real thing. It's Chicago Championship Wrestling on Sports Right now, 
Zebra is a flurry of fists going to the forehead of Scott Reynolds right now. That was like a forearm to the forehead to me. Okay, I might have to get a pair of glasses. That's, That's the way things are shaping up. Slingshot into the corner. Kelly follows it up with a shoulder block into the chest. Making a mistake here. He could stay on his man. That's one thing you and I can agree on right there, Zebra. Experience, you don't walk away when you've got your man hurt. You do not turn your back on him. You stay on him and you hurt him a little bit more. But Kelly went in for a slingshot there, and Scott Reynolds pulled a nice reversal. Former football player that he is gives him a beautiful shoulder into the midsection. Scott pulls him up, suplex over the top. Kelly's in trouble. Tag made now. Sam Reynolds coming into the ring. Both men in now working over Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly, we haven't even seen in action yet. Double drop kick to the floor goes Kelly. Uh, Sam Reynolds in there, taking over where his brother left off, working over the Kelly. Jim Kelly has had nothing to do, however, except be a spectator in this match. Flying forearm smash into the chest. Right to the jaw. What do you mean, forearm smash? Well, maybe I would shield a little zebra. Well, there was a turnaround right here. Sam Reynolds went in for the body slam. Kelly's full hair. They use their fists. What about when the Reynolds brothers do it? You don't open your mouth. Tag made now. Did you girl last night? <laughs> no zebra. That was not the case. Jim Kelly now into the ring. A tag made. Jim now can get a little breathing room. Sam Reynolds, you might have noticed, Zebra was nailed as he went for a body drop, and Jim Kelly pulled the legs up right into the midsection. Now Jim Kelly's going to work on the left leg as Sam Reynolds. Here right now is pull that leg outside the ring, give his partner a chance to take it down against the side of the apron and really hurt him. So they may be doing that. I think yes, they are. I think you called that one 100%, Zebra. Wow, Jim Kelly's distracting the ref. Look out! Jim Kelly distracting the referee and the other Reynolds brother. In the meantime, Jim Kelly working over the left leg of Sam Reynolds. That's the idea. Take a body part, stay on it, stay on it, and hurt it, and hurt it, and hurt it. Pick at it, pick at it, and pick at it until you beat the man. Well, I'll tell you something. Zebra in the PWI, these referees get their hands full because sometimes in these takes, the monster is total mayhem in the ring. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Look at the action in this one. We got the Kelly brothers working over Sam Reynolds right now. Scott's in the corner waiting for some kind of a break so he can tag off. Elbow smash to the back. And a fist to the side of the head, it looked like to me. You couldn't see that was a fist. That may have been a close up, open hand. Man's head was in your way. Well, nevertheless, Tim Kelly working over Sam Reynolds. Good move. Good move. Just about took that left knee out of joint with that move. Sam's having a difficult time getting back to his side of the ring to try to get a tag to his brother Scott. He's got to hold on that rope, but he's hanging through the rope. I don't think that would be a legal tag, even if they made it. It's a legal tag that you just saw. That's all that counts. That's a legal tag right there. Jim Kelly offered a second rope right into the left leg of Sam Reynolds. Hands very muscles. That's it. Remember now, fans, that the belts are on the line in this match tonight. It's one of the toughest matches that the Reynolds brothers have had in quite some time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Another tag was made, and here comes Tim Reynolds. A headbutt to the left leg of Reynolds. Sam Reynolds in a little bit of trouble in the Kelly brothers' corner. He's been worked over. So in more pace. trouble with my partner, Tony the Razor DeVito, and I were in there right now with them instead of the Kelly brothers. They're being a little bit more trouble than they are right now. Are you saying, Zebra, you want to shot at those belts yourself? You better believe it. I want, my partner and I want to have those belts. Well, we had a nice reversal there. Tim Kelly went for the suplex. Sam Reynolds turned it around, tagged off to his brother Scott. Both Kelly brothers in the ring. And Scott Reynolds has just power slammed both of them into the mat. Tim Kelly goes down for a second ball. And now Jim goes down for a second slam. The tag is made now to Sam Reynolds. Jim Kelly out of the ring. And Tim taking time out for a fast exit to regain his clock. Now they're being smart. They're going to chase the count. They're going to catch their win. Get their thinking straight, clear their heads a little bit, then get in. Tim Reynolds, the legal man in the ring now, takes the forearm. Two of them, now three into the chest. Sam Reynolds working. He finally makes the tag. It didn't look like Jim was that excited to come into the ring. Well, he may have been hurt a little bit. Didn't want to come in and get re-injured. That's the problem. They're, they're a good team, but they haven't got the experience of the, why some boys that have been around for a number of years. Well, it's possible, Zebra, that you might even have a meeting with the Kelly brothers yourself somewhere farther down the road. Well, we very well could. I wouldn't doubt that at all. I wouldn't mind that. I'll get in there with anybody. It doesn't matter as long as the money is green. And after the show, 
the Russell fans take care of me in their usual style. It looks like we're going to have a three count. While Zebra and I were going over some facts, Sam Reynolds went to pin Jim Reynolds. Tim Reynolds entered the ring. Sam Reynolds took him pile him on top of his brother and pinned him for a three count. The bell has been rung. Now we've got four men in the ring, and now the Kelly brothers are ducking out. They want to have nothing more to do with the Reynolds brothers, the winner of this match, and they still retain their title belt. A nice finish for the heavyweight tag team champions in the Midwest. Don't jump away. We're watching Ring Night Sports Club. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is, yeah, a slice from the razor is back. Despite what you idiots tried to do, try to get me off the air, it doesn't work because Tony the Razor DeVito is the guy who runs PWI. PWI spins because of Tony the Razor DeVito. The bad news is, the situation was, the condition was, that the Reynolds brothers had to be my guest. I got tricked into it, I got talked into it, I got coerced into it, but it doesn't matter. I got my segment back, so let me introduce two of my, my biggest buddies, the Red, White, and Blue Wrecking Crew, the two guys who me and Z were going to kick some butt and take those belts, Scott and Sam Reynolds. Just the Reynolds brothers, this isn't some brand new man. Please, you guys, you, us, yeah, boy. <laughs> you guys are real tough. You guys are real bad. Real bad at the two on one, aren't you? <laughs> two on one, you guys are the baddest mothers on the face of the earth. Hey, go get Father Time. We'd like to see him out here. Where is he? Where is he? Go Let's get, get him. Straight go get him. Let's go. Let's go. It's called the Slice and the Razor. It's not called the Reynolds Rap, okay? Oh, it's it's my, my show. It's my You're show. my guest. You do what I tell you, you answer my questions. Like as I'm far so as I'm smaller, concerned, man. this thing is over. Yeah. I held up my end of the bargain. Get here out of here. Out of here. Yeah. Hey, the commissioner said we could be on a slice from the razor. So we are. But he didn't say that the midget man had to be on a slice from the razor. You know, I'm not going to subject myself to hearing his voice crack all the time. What these gentlemen don't realize is they think they're going to take the belts away from us. They are wrong. You know why? Because one man once said, you can't have everything you want, but you can have everything you work for. And the red, white, and blue record crew has worked for the titles, and we have got them. So we'll see you next week, folks, right here at Chicago Championship Wrestling.